ride with Jesus. Now, all that's going to make sense in a little minute. All that's going to make sense. There are two things that I want to share with you today that you can expect, and I'll pray and we'll get into the word. Number one, you can expect, I'm hoping, this is, this is my expectation for you from this series, that you will leave with an understanding of what it literally means to have fellowship with God. I'm going to use various, uh, the analogy of riding, and we'll get to that from the scriptures in just a minute. But I want you to walk away understanding what it means to really be in fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The second thing I want you to be okay with, and I know I've got people who are part of Word Nation that's going to say, what? I want you to be okay with this message being short. Not that I am shortchanging you, but I want it short because I want you to remember this. Because I think the challenge a lot of times, y'all, is not that we don't know the word. It's not that we don't understand it, but sometimes it's hard for us to remember it. Or, in the words of Brother D.B., to stay conscious of it. So those are the two things I'm trying to do. I want you, throughout the series... To understand what it really means to fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And then I want to share with you. Or I, I want you to get just enough so that you can remember. Because a word that can be remembered is a word that can be applied. Alright, with that being said, let's pray. Father, we thank you right now for this opportunity. I thank you to God for who you are and for all that you have done and for all that you're doing. I ask now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that as we... Uh, share your word, your word, different setting, different sites, but it's the same scriptures. I pray, Father God, that your heart, the hearts and minds of your people are open and that they would receive. Give us an understanding today what it means to fellowship with you. Let us enjoy while we learn. In Jesus' name, amen. In John chapter 15, Jesus has just finished having a conversation with his disciples and he shared with them that he's leaving. Now, for three years, they've committed their lives, three and a half years, they've committed their lives to him. One perfect, but the boy has been faithful. And Jesus says, I'm leaving. And as he works why he's leaving and what's going to happen uh, now that he's leaving, he gets to John 15 and he gives them uh, a shot of hope by giving them the secret to a fruitful, fulfilled life. By giving them the secret, if you would, to a life that glorifies God. I, I want to read just a few passages for in your hearing from John chapter 15. Listen to that. I just read two. He says in verse 7, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. Jesus gives them a shot of, of hope and inspiration basically by saying to them, listen, I'm not going to be here with you physically, but I want you to know that your life can be fruitful and fulfilled if you would abide in me. And in John chapter 15, verses 1 through 8, read it when you get time. The main word that repeats itself over and over is abide and then fruit. Talks about what he's going to do uh, to make sure that uh, we can abide. He talks oh, what has happened so that we can abide. He uh, talks within those eight verses about uh, the fruitfulness uh, that glorify God as a result of us abiding. In John 15, he talks about abiding. That word abide there means 
uh, meno in the Greek, and it means to remain. It is, watch it now, it is to stay placed. It is to stay put. It is to be, if you would, stuck to. I want to suggest to you that it means to rise. To abide means to rise. You ready for it? Ride. Aura I D E. To abide. To remain put. To settle in. Is to ride. Aura I D E. It is to regularly, intentionally, excuse me, discover and experience Jesus. To ride is to regularly, this seems something that happens in phases. Every day, this abiding is every day. It's not just on Sunday. It's just not doing uh, the resurrection time. It's not, it's every day. To ride is to abide because you regularly, intentionally, we're going to learn in this series that there's some things that you can intentionally do. Watch this. To abide. And when I say do, a better way of saying that, there are some things that will intentionally happen in your life as a result of your abiding. And then discover. You're going to discover some things about Jesus. Because y'all, the truth of the matter is, a lot of us have taken what people said about Jesus. And we then ran with that. And what you heard about Jesus don't coincide with what I heard about Jesus, then what you heard about Jesus is wrong to me. No, we're going to discover some things about Jesus. We're going to discover some things about Jesus, perhaps, that we never gave or paid much attention to. Like, uh, he physically touches a leopard. Somebody who nobody wanted to bother with and had legitimate reason because of his condition. But Jesus not only speaks, but he touches. Say, Bishop, I, 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 what, what's, what's your point? What have I just discovered about Jesus? You just discovered about Jesus that you are never in a condition where he won't touch you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've done, no matter where you are, high, wherever you are, he's willing to touch you. We're going to discover some things about Jesus. And then we're going to experience some things with him. And all that's going to happen, y'all, because we ride. Now, this morning, I want to share with you, and again, I'm not going to be long. I want you to get the gist of this. Just stay with me. If you feel like that just was not too much, watch it two or three times so you can get your hours worth of it. The more, the more you review, constant reviews are stupid to glue. So to abide is to ride, and to ride is to regularly, intentionally discover and experience Jesus. Now, with that being said, Jesus makes the statement in John chapter 15, he says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. Now, he reveals to them or he says to them, abiding in a different context, same thing, different way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When he says to them, if my words abide in you, here's what he's saying. If what I taught stays on your heart, then you're going to be abiding in me. If what I taught you, Jesus talking to his disciples, if my words, word, word there is rhema in the Greek, and in, in its context, it is speaking to what I have spoken to you. 
I'm sharing you. I'm reminding you of what I've said. The things that I have told you. You didn't find this in no scroll anywhere. I told you, Jesus says, he says, if what I've taught you remains in your heart, then you're going to abide in me. Stay with me. To abide is to ride. Now, I want you to consider something. That when I ride as a passenger, I am in close proximity to the driver. Now, you can't see the driver, but he's there. You can't see him, but he's there. And as I'm riding, I am close in proximity to the driver. That's number one. When you ride in this regular, intentionally discovering and experiencing Jesus, you're going to be able to do it because you're going to stay in close proximity. You see, y'all, sometimes it's not that... He is not in us. The problem a lot of times is that we are not aware how close we are to him because we don't choose to ride. We're going to be in close proximity to him. Number two, and this is crucial. When you ride, you ready for it? Simplicities can be so profound. You're not only staying close proximity, but when you ride, he does the driving. I'm not, my job is to look what I'm going to discover and experience. His job is to drive. Now, when he drives, that means deep, he's got to direct. I can't tell him where to go. In fact about it, we've been driving for a while now, and I haven't opened up my mouth about where we was going, because I'm here to ride, to discover and experience. He drives deep, that means he directs. Jesus talking about this vine, he says the vine's got to stay connected. I mean, the branch's got to stay connected, because it's the, the power source that's going to come through the vine. That's going to cause the branch to bear fruit. I'm in close proximity, connected. But then he's driving, he's directing. He's revealing. He's revealing. You see, when you ride, he not only directs, tells you where to go. Because though you can't see him, you can hear him. But he also reveals you see the more you abide the more god reveals himself as well as you because you can't see god without having some understanding or revelation about you if it ain't no more than how powerful he is and how weak we are how mighty uh, he is and how dependent we have to be so he directs he reveals, but then he instructs. When you abide, you take your cue on what's right and what's wrong from him. Oh, my brothers and sisters, that is so important. Part of the reason why so many people are not able to be free and enjoy life, and I'm not talking about doing whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm not talking about living old crazy life. I'm talking about living a life where you're positive in spite of problems, where you're productive in spite of persecution and pressures because of your... I'm talking about a life where you're free. The reason why a lot of people are not able to do it because they don't take their instructions from God. Their instructions are not from the Word. Their instructions a lot of times are from people's preference and from people's ideology that we force the scriptures into. Oh, we, we gonna spend some time this week just talking about what it means to abide. And I'm saying like Jesus, the vine and the branches, I'm saying to abide is 
to ride is just like to abide. I'm in close proximity. He's driving. He's directing. He's revealing. He's instructing. Watch this. Then he's validating. You see, the more I, buy, I uh, the more I ride, the more I buy. What happens in my life? The good, the growth, the gift. I don't have to look to other people to validate because in my body, I'm riding, he driving, he validates, he validates. And there's some of you all who are listening to me. Listen to me good. The problem you've been having is you have waited for too long for other people to say it was okay for you to be you.